So this is just some more practice of what we were doing on Friday. It is one step equations, just like what we were doing before. Um, and it's going to be a crossword puzzle today. So before we get started, make sure you go up to the share button and make sure that it says anyone or at least Brown County schools. If it doesn't hit change, um, and then you can change your access. So it probably says restricted right now. If it says that, I can't see it. Change it so it says anyone with the link. Hit done. Next thing you're going to want to do is type in your name so I know who you are and I can give you a grade for it. Now let's move on to this puzzle. So I've got a bunch of one-step problems for you to do. Not a bunch, there's a couple there though. What you're going to do is you're going to solve the problem. So let's do number one together. So with number one, it says x minus seven equals five. Just like before, we're going to draw our line. We're going to KCO, because I see some subtraction in there. So it's now seven or x plus negative seven equals five. There's no simplifying that I need to do or anything like that. So I can move on to actually solving my problem. So what I'm going to do is circle my variable because that is my goal. So I should get x equals something at the end. Now I'm going to do the inverse operation. So it says add negative seven. The opposite is add a positive seven. So we're adding a positive seven to each side. Negative seven plus seven equals zero. And x plus zero equals x, because we just bring that straight down. So that simplifies this side to my goal. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do the other. So I'm taking five plus seven, which is actually going to be 12. And so now that I know my answer is 12, it says solve all the equations and spell out the answers. So instead of writing the numbers one, two, I'm going to write out the word 12. In order to do that, I just click in there and I'm going to type in a T. And then I'm going to go into my next box and type in a W E. L, V, and then an E, and that spells 12. And so that is your first answer. If you are not good at spelling like I am, you can always go over here and type into Google 12, and it should be somewhere over here. Let's see, oh, there it is, 12 spelling. So you can always do that. Maybe if we add in spelling, there it is right there. So all you have to do is Google how to spell if you're unsure of how to spell that number. Um, so complete this crossword puzzle and then turn it in.